Hello everyone, welcome to Code Design. And in this video, let's discuss this read problem from from Hello 2024. And before starting this video, I would like you to like this uh, video and subscribe to my channel because majority of my viewers have not subscribed to it. And it doesn't cost you much, but it will help me a lot. So let's first read the problem statement. There is an edge weighted complete binary tree with n leaves. A complete binary tree is defined as a tree where every non-leaf vertex has exactly two children. For each non-leaf vertex, we label one of its children as the left and or the other and the other as right child. The binary tree has very strange property. Every non-leaf vertex, uh, one of its uh, edges to the children has weight zero, while the other edge has weight one. Note that the edge with weight zero can be connected to either left or right child. You forgot what the tree looks like, but luckily you remember the information about the leaf nodes in the form of an array of size n. For each i from one to n, the a i represents the distance from the root to the ith leaf in the DFS order. Determine whether there exists a complete binary tree which satisfies the array A. Note that you do not need to reconstruct the tree, and so basically this represent the. Okay, so basically this array will represent the distance of the leaf nodes from the root, and every edge is either zero or one. So this is a twenty one hundred rated problem, and now let's okay let's see the constraint first. Uh, we have uh, n goes from two to 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 the two into ten to the power five. So we have to solve it in big of n or big of n log n. Now let's see the first. Uh, let's see the sample input. Okay, we have a two one zero one one. Right, so we have five leaf nodes and two one zero one one. So it is asking us like, can we construct a tree uh, using uh, with these particular leaf nodes? So let's try to construct one. Like if we have uh, since two is on the left side, the maximum element is on the left the left side. So I should try to keep one and zero here, okay? Because zero is in between, right? Okay, let's say uh, we have a one here and a zero, okay? Because then we get a two, then one, and then a zero, right? Now we want another uh, something else also, right? So let's go one step ahead, and uh, let's say I had a zero and one here, so I get a one now. And I need one more one, so I will go one more step ahead, and zero and one. So I get two one zero one one as the array. So an a tree exists like this, right? Uh, let's see for another one, like one zero two one three. So five one zero two one and three. Now for this case, like uh, since I know, okay. We have a zero, a one and zero, right? Uh, I mean, okay. Let's say we have a tree. Like we have a one and zero, and the next element is two. So, I mean, how do we even construct it? Like I can't get a two, right? I mean, if I even try uh, to go up, uh, it must be. It, it can either be a zero or one. But uh, whatever that is, the these two are on the same level, right? Let's just say we had a zero and a, a one here, so this is one one more. So one zero one, and then and then I need two, right? So two, and this is again one, and then how do I get a three? Like I can't get a three, right? Or maybe I can if I do something like this. Uh, Zero and one because this is a zero, so zero. So I get a one, and this can only be three. Uh, only go to two. Or the uh, but if I do one more to get a three, I will have to increase the uh, one more node, leaf node, which is not correct. Uh, so this is a wrong answer. So we print a no here. Okay now, since the sample input is complete, let's uh, try to discuss the approach now. And now. Uh, Okay, uh, let's first see the uh, question again. Okay, so we are given some tree. Let's say for uh, n equal to three, what are the possibilities? Uh, I mean, like if I create something like, uh, let's say, let's try to create some random things. Like if I have zero one zero one, then my array is zero one one, right? And this tree is possible. Like if I, what if we have something like zero one and one uh, zero? Uh, then we have one zero one, and uh, I think only this uh, only this tree is possible. We can't take a transpose of it. And what if we have something like one two and three? I mean, sorry, zero one and three, uh, zero one and two. 
देन वी हैव समथिंग लाइक ओके जीरो वन वी हैव अ वन नाउ एंड देन वी टेक अ जीरो वन नाउ सो वी हैव अ जीरो वन एंड टू एंड ओनली एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो अ वैलिड केस ओके सो वी कैन मेक अ हाइपोथिस लाइक इफ वी हैव सम एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द रूट लाइक इफ आई हैव द रूट नोड हियर एंड सम पेरेंट विद अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ एक्स देन इट हैज टू चिल्ड्रेन एंड इट विल बी एक्स एंड एक्स प्लस वन देयर डिस्टेंसेज विल बी एक्स एंड एक्स प्लस वन राइट बट वॉट हैपन्स ओके एंड देयर विल बी सम अदर नोट्स एज वेल लाइक वाई देन वाई एंड वाई प्लस वन राइट बट वॉट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन स्टार्ट रिमूविंग दिस लाइक वॉट इफ आई रिमूव एक्स एंड एक्स प्लस वन देन आई गेट अ ट्री विद अ विद अ लीफ नोड एक्स राइट दिस पेरेंट बिकम्स द लीफ नोड नाउ सो वॉट वी कैन डू इज वेन एवर वी एनकाउंटर ए एंड ए प्लस वन वी कैन डिस्कार्ड दिस ए प्लस वन एंड वी कैन कीप ऑन गोइंग लाइक दिस एंड इफ इन द एंड वी हैव अ जीरो लेफ्ट देन वी प्रिंट अ यस but this is also uh, this is just a greedy approach and for this tree 0 1 and 2 uh, let's say 0 1 and 2 it will give a, it will not work because we, because when you encounter 0 1 you will simply say okay because if you encounter a 0 1 you will uh, you don't know what to do uh, you will simply remove it and then we get a 0 2 and then you say no this is not possible uh, you will say no this is not possible right but uh, that is not the case uh, so how should we approach this i need to prove that uh, if i keep on going like this i should be able to in the end get a zero and then say okay this tree is correct okay so what we can do we can maintain a stack like okay uh, let's say we have a stack and i push zero and one in it uh, now if my current element is true Uh, I should not remove the elements which are smaller than the uh, smaller than this two, right? But I can remove certainly remove all the elements which are greater. Why? Let's say we have an array something like let M be my maximum element, okay? And if my array is something like maximum, 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 and then uh, it goes on, and then we have M minus one. And if I ask you, is this a correct? Uh, is this tree correct or not? So what you can do? is you can pair um m and an m minus 1 uh, to some parent and the uh, and you can now remove this and this will become an m minus 1 right so these two will get paired up to m minus 1 then these two can be paired to get a uh, m minus 1 and then all these maximas will be removed co- completely right and in the end we will be left with a uh, m minus 1 so you get, i think you get the point uh, like what we can do is we can uh, push keep pushing them in a stack uh let's say let's take the uh, this example which was correct in the sample input uh, where did it go okay let's copy it from the code forces uh, so we have 2 1 0 1 1 okay so we have 2 1 0 1 1 1 okay and there is one more thing that uh, there can only be 1 0 in the entire array so if there are more than one zeros then it is obviously a wrong uh, uh, the a, tr- the a tree like that can't be constructed and now like what we can do is we can first put uh, two in the stack now since a uh, since one is obviously less than uh, two so i can obviously replace my m by m minus 1 right if i am getting an m minus 1 uh, i will simply replace this two i will pop this two and push a one here then we have a zero now it is smaller so i will uh, say okay Now it is the same case. Like if I one, I have a one, and then a zero. Then I can simply uh, pop these uh, zeros and one and put a zero here, right? So I will simply remove my uh, remove this one and push a zero here. Then I get a one. Okay, I will push one. Then I have a one again. Now since one and one is equal, uh, so I don't need to push it into the stack. Why? Because I have some this case zero, one, and one. Now these two can be removed using uh, this and in the end whatever stack i have uh, in currently i have only this i will simply check that my uh, that these two like the consecutive ones should be the the consecutive element should be like uh, a plus 
and A. And I will keep popping them. And if this is not the case, then my tree is uh, wrong. I will print a no. Uh, else I will print a yes. Right? So basically we have four cases. Like I will traverse in my array. So A1, A2, it goes on. And my stack starts with, uh, let's say we have an A0. And my stack starts with A0 in it. Okay? Now for any i, now we only have four cases. And let's say, uh, now one case is when A of i is greater than s of minus one i mean i mean by s of minus one i mean the top element in the stack then i will simply push a uh, push a of i right uh, if i have something greater then i should simply push it then uh, the second case would be when it is not greater than i mean if they are equal what what should i do uh, or let's say if a of i is equals to s of i uh, s of minus one sorry s of minus 1 minus 1 so we have this case when we have a plus 1 and a uh, sorry a and a plus 1 right the current element is a and in the stack we have a plus 1 so we should so we should simply remove this a plus 1 and put an a in that place and the third case will be if a of i equals equals s of i uh, s of minus 1 and if this is the case like what did we, uh, what did we do here when we encountered a 1 and 1 and uh, if we have some zeros and one 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 something like that we should simply uh, discard these i mean we don't uh, we should simply uh, we can we can keep one one and we can discard the rest right so uh, what we can do is uh, okay we will do nothing except except the fact that uh, if my a of i equal to zero if i already have a zero in my stack and i'm again uh, encountering a zero then that means my uh, there is no this tree is incorrect right so i will just say no and if there is any other case case then the uh, these three then i will say that okay uh, such trees do, do not exist so i think you get the idea of what we are trying to do uh, now let's try to code this up very quickly uh, so let's make a new file and I will be doing it in Python, but you can follow the same steps and do this in C++. Uh, okay, so we have a, um, I have made this template. So let's first take the integer input and my array. Right. Now we have this array. Okay, so I will first make a stack. Okay, which, which is starting from A of 0. Now let's go for uh, i in, in range 1 to n. Okay, so I'm not considering the first element again. Now, now we have four cases like okay, if a of i is uh, uh, let's say what are the four cases like a for if a of i is greater than s of minus 1, I mean, like the last is greater than the last element in the stack. What will I do? I will simply push it into the, into the stack, right? So s dot append uh, a of i lf i have the second case like okay if it is not greater then it might be equals to s of minus one minus one like we have the case when this is a and this is a plus one so i will simply replace my s of minus one by a of i lf i have the third case when these two are equal if a of i equals equals s of minus one then i uh, then i don't need to do anything except if my a of i equals equals zero so i have encountered two zeros here so I should print a uh, no and return, right? Uh, in the else case, I, I also don't have anything to do. So I will print a no and return. Now, uh, I need to pop my elements into the stack. Like I have added many elements. So I will keep popping the uh, popping from my stack. So, so which element should I remove from the stack? So for that, I can say while uh, lens uh, greater than one while n is greater than one and uh, a of i is less than s of minus one why less than because uh, i uh, to remove a of i i need a, a of a of i minus one not a of i plus one or like that to remove the maximum element we want to encounter a ma m minus one right so for that we can remove all the greater elements from the stack and s of minus one minus one equals equals s of minus two now this ensures that my uh, in this case i will pop it right 
Now what you can say that uh, s of minus 1 was greater than s of minus 2 by a factor of 1 like a and a plus 1 then we can simply remove the a plus 1 right and after this uh, loop is over we can do the same thing except like uh, except I will just remove this condition from here and in the end I, I will simply check if my ln s equals equals 1 and the last element remaining should be a 0 then my tree is correct otherwise I will say there is no such possible tree so let's try to run this and see if it is working yeah and now let's just make the um, submit this code and see if it gives us a correct answer so a problem d and submit so okay the okay the code is accepted and i will put this code in the pinned comment below so you can copy it from there and if you have any other doubts or suggestions you can please tell me and if you want a solution to a particular problem uh, i will also upload it uh, if you tell me in the comment section and i will probably upload the solution to f problem also so kindly wait for that okay so thank you guys if you are watching till here it really meant a lot for me i will see you guys next time thank you